We just got unprecedented, game-changing news about Liberty Falls and the Zombies HUD. In the latest episode of the Call of Duty podcast, the Senior Director of Studio Communications, Stephanie Snowden, talked about how they're updating Liberty Falls' atmosphere, as well as touching up the HUD for Zombies. Now, this is incredible news for a lot of different reasons, but I don't want us to swing the pendulum too far in the overhype thing, so I want you to hear what she has to say and how she describes it in her own words. Uh, has the Zombies team made any changes to Liberty Falls since we first saw it at God Next? Yes. Short answer, yes. yes. Um, Next question. The Liberty Falls that everyone saw at Call of Duty Next was work in progress, right? That map was still months away at the time from launch. And so the Zombies team has continued to iterate on Liberty Falls um, since then. And the visual tone and sort of the look and feel are now a bit moodier. Cool. And um, there are some atmospheric elements that people did not see at Next because at the time we had the main quest and the Easter eggs disabled for broadcast. No you know? We didn't want to spoil it. No spoilies. And so I think um, there's a lot that people haven't seen in terms of those elements. Of course, not only does she say that Liberty Falls was a work in progress and they weren't done with everything and they disabled Easter eggs and side quests. So that seemed to play a part in the mood and atmosphere too, which I find really interesting. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like an ascension thing where it starts off in this one mood and then it changes to the other mood. Once you go into the dark ether, turn on power or you know whatever the equivalent is once you go through the church for the pack a punch. But her specific phrasing is that it's a bit moodier now. Now, I know this is like amazing news and this is like mind blowing, especially to me. I never thought in a million years this would have happened, but I want us to really, again, observe and recognize our own expectations. What does it mean for the map that we saw to be moodier? Because technically speaking, when you look at the most recent Warzone map and then you compare that to Urzikstan from Call of Duty Z or Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is quite a bit moodier than the Warzone map, but still people people didn't really like Urzikstan for Modern Warfare 3 in terms of atmosphere. Additionally, they have already released the trailer for Liberty Falls. So if they change the atmosphere too much, could that be false advertising on their part accidentally, even though that's an improvement or something? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. There's probably something in the description that says it's pre-release content or, you know, not official game footage or something. I'm just saying I wouldn't expect this map to be completely like nighttime and raining and lightning going on at the, at the moment. I feel like it's just going to be a little bit more like maybe Togdar Toten or Nuketown or something a little bit more stylized. Like she said, a little bit more moodier. So just recognize your expectations. Maybe don't have them fly through the roof uh, after hearing this because that could lead to some more disappointment down the road. Now, what's even better than changing the atmosphere in Liberty Falls a little bit? Well, it's touching up the HUD. Here's again exactly what Stephanie said. A few of the HUD elements and zombies are also getting touched up, um, which we'll be able to share a little bit more about as we get closer to launch. So make sure you look out for the upcoming COD block. Logs, mm. um, from the Call of Duty crew and the Zombies team to uh, learn a little bit more. So they're touching up the HUD. Now, I can't imagine, like I said, I don't think this is going to be a huge overhaul. Oh my goodness, we're getting Black Ops 3 Zombies HUD or whatever. But I imagine maybe they're maybe zombifying it. Maybe they're adding in a blood splatter or changing the color of the backgrounds to gray like the Mangler icon was. Again, I wouldn't expect a huge difference. I still, I've uh, after the past couple of months, I'm kind of of the mindset that nobody's going to be happy with any HUD that they come up with because it's not zombified enough or it's too detailed or it's overly complex. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath for the HUD. I didn't really hate the HUD before. Yeah, it was a little bit much, but as so long as I could turn off the minimap and the uh, health bar and damage numbers and all that stuff, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Now, she does say to keep an eye on the blog post to see what this HUD might look like. So be sure to subscribe because I am 1000% going to be covering what that new HUD looks like when we get to see it. And perhaps one of my biggest concerns for Black Ops 6 ever since we started hearing about Black Ops 6 has been relieved with this podcast. Will Kevin Sherwood's Easter egg songs be returning in Zombies? Also known as The Goat. Meh. Nice. Um, short answer, again, yes. Uh, Kevin Sherwood is back and he is writing some incredible, amazing original songs for Zombies and players will be able to discover two of them at launch. So again, one for each map mm. with Terminus Island and Liberty Falls. I've heard the songs for both of them and they are ducking epic. 
Kevin Sherwood, the GOAT, is back and he has made a unique brand new Easter egg song for both Terminus and Liberty Falls. If you don't know, Kevin Sherwood is the reason we have as many amazing Easter egg songs and zombies as we do. They are iconic. And during Cold War, he was helping the audio team and he just didn't have enough time to develop map specific unique Easter egg songs. We had a couple for Team Machina and uh, Firebase C, but that was it. And Zombies is so much about the sound design and the audio and the atmosphere of the Easter egg song just as much as it is about the visuals. And so confirming Kevin Sherwood is back is just aw absolutely awesome. This is something that I actually tweeted out a couple of weeks ago, so it was weird. It was really cool to see this in the COD pod here. Who knows? Maybe somebody at Activision is checking up on my Twitter. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But I have to say, I am eating my words because speaking about Twitter, on Twitter, I've been kind of lowering everybody's expectations about Liberty Falls and the HUD. I've seen people say, oh man, I'd be surprised if they didn't change the HUD or, oh, you know, why wouldn't they change Liberty Falls before launch? And I'm like, well, I don't think they would. We've never seen that before. That would be unprecedented for them to do that sort of thing before launch. And here we are. I'm a donut here. I was wrong and I will gladly, gladly take this L because man, oh man, I cannot believe they've done it. Again, I don't think Liberty Falls is going from war zone to shadows of evil type of atmosphere, but the passion and the love and the care for the community is absolutely overwhelming with Black Ops 6. I know a lot of people disagree. A lot of people say, oh man, when does Treyarch ever listen to the community? But if, if you see all the zombie games like I do, you see how Treyarch listens in response to the community in every single thing that they do. It might not be in the way that we want them to. It might not. We might not get the answers that we want, but we definitely get so much from Treyarch. It is just such a great time to be a zombies fan right now. If you're not on board the hype train, hop on a board because we're going. And as a couple side things here, uh, they did reconfirm that the first DLC map is probably going to be somewhere around season one. My conspiracy theory is I think they're doing zombies on the reloaded updates. That's why they didn't say on season one. They said around season one. So I, I don't know. My conspiracy theory is that they're doing zombies updates on the reloaded updates, but that's not confirmed. I don't know. I've been wrong before. Clearly, they did also reaffirm that, yeah, zombies is going to be more a part of the events and the regular goings on with the seasons in Call of Duty. So that is just really, really nice. Like I said, it's a great time to be a zombie fan right now. But speaking of DLC content, I believe there is something that Treyarch could do that could change Black Ops 6 zombies and zombies and round based zombies moving forward forever. And they actually want our feedback about it. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, be sure to check out this video and stay beautiful.